out there. Welcome friends to another Vegematic show. Vegematic is a concept. I'm not Vegematic. People call me Veg all the time, but my name is Chris, so just so you know. Anyway, uh, another uh, week in paradise. Fucking freezing cold, snow, shoveling. <sighs> Trying to avoid images of Herr Grumpf everywhere I go because, or references, because sometimes I just, you know, you gotta, you, you gotta light up a big one and, and fucking forget about all this shit. It's, it's called maintaining one's sanity. Let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, before I go any further, I'd like to say thank you to uh, Nuts for Art. Lonnie, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I subbed back and uh, Shane Chubbs. Thank you, Ch Shane. R. John Everman. Everyman? Everman. Everman. R. John Everman. Thank you. Uh, thank you for, uh, if you subscribed and I didn't mention your name, I'm very sorry. Uh, I will probably get around to it, or maybe not, because uh, as I approach my 60th birthday, uh, 45 years of, uh, shall we say, less than pristine uh, living has left me somewhat forgetful sometimes. But I'm doing better than 95% of people my age because I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I, you know, I mean that that puts me in in like, you know, the top little little bit because, uh, you know, I I shouldn't put down people my age because, I'm my age and I don't like it when people put me down. But, let's just say it's a cultural thing. It's the divide between, and there are plenty of people my age that are, pretty cool people still. I know a lot of them, and they're nice, nice people. Wonderful people who fought all their lives to try and make things better. And then there are the yuppie scum that um, buy up these huge McMansion chipboard palaces. And <sighs> so is history written in stone, or can we actually change things? I like to think that there's some sort of force in the universe that when everything is against the goodness the basic goodness that's inside humanity and it's 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 in there just as surely as as the evil is in there it depends on which side we tend to want to cultivate and i think most people still in spite of the uh, the sick culture that we live in I think on balance are on the light side of the spectrum and not the darkness. I'd like to thank very much both Glenn Woodford and Thomas Ackerman. H. Thomas Ackerman, uh, a truly gifted artist who lives not far from me and one of these days, <laughs> one of these days we're going to get together. Uh, he's having a, a, well here's some of his paintings and I'll let you uh, listen to to some H. Thomas Ackerman, and we're building a community here slowly. It takes time, as I've realized, um, but generally we're building something here, and there's some very talented people, and uh, thank you for giving me permission to use your clips. I will not abuse anybody's clips that, that they send me. Uh, I will... Uh, perhaps shorten them for time or play with them in some strange way but I will always acknowledge of course whoever sends this stuff in and I don't make a fucking penny off of this shit believe me I do it for the sense of community I do it for the sense of camaraderie I do it for the sense that we ain't got no choice people that are thinking people uh, we'll have to face the incredible uh, disasters that lie ahead. And what a fucking mess. <laughs> Fukushima alone we've been lied to. For five years we've been lied to. And it's, it's glowy and shiny. 
it's glowy and shiny. It's, it's doctors say this is a medical advance. See, I'm quoting Lou Reed because the man was uh, <laughs> brilliantly uh, ahead of his time in a lot of the uh, poetry that he, he did. The evil empire is here. No more hiding behind the green curtain. No dog to reveal the man behind it. The flaunting of their gall. The secrecy of conspiracies no more. No more. The being born part is living up to our highest potential, what might be even considered to be our calling. And in a hide-and-seek reality, we're continuously kept uh, away from this because we're somehow trying to establish some sort of fundamental meaning within us, which is already there. It's ironic. It's already there for each of us. And here is the fundamental part, how it's already there, and you don't have to hide-and-seek. It's what I've always said, that if we act our conscience and we contribute to a world that is now, in, we're in the fight for our lives with all the tragedies and the struggles that we have, the challenges that we face, and we're continuously trying to look for nuances and details, and the most important detail is to come to terms with our inner battle, the thing that is within us. It's not external and trying to find all the subtleties that exist out there that make our life richer. No, the rich part in us. I'm convinced of this. The rich part. And, and, and I'm not going to get into the idea of the brilliance and the complexity of the external world. This is beautiful. It's inspirational. But the rich part of experience is an inner, it's an inner reality. It's not an external reality. Wasn't 2016 really, when we look back at it, a very disappointing year, a very heartbreaking year by the end of it, when Herr Grumpf purportedly won the erection? Uh, oh, sorry, did I say erection? No, I meant, uh, uh, I think it was something resembling some sort of election, but it's so distorted that you... Who the fuck knows, right? Who was the better cheater? <laughs> so, uh, all you any Trumplings watching this, please go away. I understand that you are still deceived and you are um, in denial as to what is going to happen next, because you want to think that you did the right thing. You wanted to make America great again, America above all. Deutschland über alles. Fuck you. Oh, God. So many articles on this one. Um, President-elect was reportedly selected uh, Rex Tillerson to be Secretary of State. Uh, Tillerson, an unusual pick with no political experience will be paired with former UN ambassador John Bolton who would serve as deputy secretary uh, yes Tillerson's nomination uh, may open up questions about potential conflicts of interest because of Exxon's large portfolio around the globe. Few U.S. citizens are closer to Vladimir Putin beyond Henry Kissinger. <laughs> there you go, Alex Jones. Oh, yeah. Resistance, resistance. I want to talk about throwing a monkey wrench into the system. Everybody, it's your responsibility to stop fascism. It's up to you, it's up to me, it's up to everybody. Don't shut up. Don't pretend everything's normal. It's fucking crazy. It's not normal. I withdraw my consent from considering the criminal power elite normal. And I can talk about history and people can call me an alarmist and they do, 
But what's coming is so horrendous that none of you Trumplings are prepared for it. Well, your mother gets her social security cut. Well, what do you care, right? You read your Anne fucking rant. Fuh, altruism? Fuh. <laughs> inverted morality. This is what we're dealing with. Uh, inverted morality. Uh, and, and it's telling that so many members of this administration are Ayn Rand cultists. Paul Ryan is a disgusting excuse for a human being. So is Rick Perry. Disgusting. Absolutely. It, it's a nest of fucking vipers. And why am I putting this out here? Why am I, you know, you expose yourself to Trumpling's wrath? I don't fucking care. I'm old. What do I got to lose? When you start the process of, of uh, making lists of intellectuals and artists and anybody that opposes Herr Drumpf's right-wing agenda. You know, I always talked about libertarianism. Like, okay, and the whole thing was always the same. Yeah, you like libertarianism? Go to Somalia. That's about the only place that's ever been tried. Well, America, I think you might be the new Somalia. The destruction. It's, it's, it's the abrogation of your right as a human being to close your eyes and ignore the evil when it's in front of your face. To pretend that everything's all right. That this is some kind of normal. No, this is extreme right, pushed further right, pushed further to the right, pushed to fucking insanity. The only hope, the only hope, is make Trump unable to govern. Shut the fucking country down and save humanity. What is it you don't understand? What is it about fascism, about history that you don't get? That you think Trump is going to make America fucking great? Fucking wonderful. You ignorant, ignorant, stupid idiots. Shut the whole damn country down. Indigenous people showed us how with Standing Rock. And I guarantee you that Herr Drumpf and Rick Perry and his band of fucking oil banditos are going to move on Standing Rock to get their fucking pipeline that they've got big money invested in through. And the only way to stop the fuckers is what the veterans did. Protect, protect, protect. Stop this son of a bitch before it goes too far. Stop it, stop it before everybody ends up in camps. What the fuck? You think this isn't serious? You think this, this isn't horrifying? Anyway, that's come and get me NSA, right? For my little fucking stupid YouTube channel. I don't fucking care. How do you stop this right-wing hatred? How do you stop intolerance? Numbers. Because I truly believe that the American people are basically decent human beings. I know this. I know that they are good, decent human beings. And they've been pushed too fucking far. 
because the distractibility, let's face it, it's the wealthiest nation in history. And there's a myriad of distractions available, more so than, than anywhere else in the world. Anything you want, you got it right here in the USA, like the song says. But America's citizens are some of the most depressed and miserable on the face of the fucking earth. And you have all these toys, these goodies. They're totally empty. They mean fuck all. And inside your heart, you know it. And you see that you have all this, acquired all this junk. And I'm guilty of it. I'm not, I'm not exempting myself from this. And you realize that you spent years accumulating crap that you'll never need. Stop it. Stop it. Let's put a stop to evil. Let's just fucking stop it. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to change minds out there, to, to kill this hatred and xenophobia, to, to destroy it, to start talking to each other again, instead of arguing and spamming each other in, co in the comment section. I can't deal with it. And there's people that love to, to argue in the comments and say, yeah, this, that, the other thing. And if I can, I'm not going to change anybody's minds. That doesn't think the way I do. There's no fucking way I can do that. If you're, you're a jerk that supports Trump and thinks that's wonderful. Yeah. I feel the same way about you as I do a Hillary supporter. You're both, they've got pox on both your houses. That being said, I think that Drumpf is definitely the, probably, no, I don't know, they're both, evil is evil, I don't know. You can't make a deal with evil. That's what, the lesser of two evils is such an insane idea. Anyway, for what it's worth, this is Vegematic Show, closing off for another week. Stay sane, stay warm, stay safe. Let's try and dig our way out of this shit. Be well, everyone.